Donald Trump's hand-picked Attorney General William Barr just released what he claims is a summary of the Robert Mueller report, but Barr's claims are so far removed from the plainly visible facts and evidence, we have to assume for now that Barr is intentionally mischaracterizing Mueller's findings. House Democrats will move very quickly to force the actual Mueller report to come to light. In the meantime, they're stressing that the Mueller report and even the Barr summary go out of their way not to exonerate Trump. House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler said it's best in response to the Barr summary. Special Counsel Mueller clearly and explicitly is not exonerating the president and we must hear from Mag Barr about his decision making and see all the underlying evidence for the American people to know all the facts. There must be full transparency in what special counsel Mueller uncovered to not exonerate the president from wrongdoing. Dodge owes the public more than just a brief synopsis and decision not to go any further in their work. Special counsel Mueller worked for 22 months to determine the extent to which President Trump obstructed justice. Attorney General Barr took two days to tell the American people that while the president is not exonerated, there will be no action by Dodge. Dot the bottom line, this is just getting started. Despite William Barr's best attempt at whitewashing Robert Mueller's report, Barr made the mistake of explicitly stating that Mueller's findings do not exonerate Donald Trump. That gives House Democrats all the legal ammunition they need to get their hands on the real report so they can find out all the things Trump did wrong that prompted Mueller to conclude Trump could not be exonerated.